up guys, we are here with another Dog Freeze Dungeon video. Um, this time it's going to be Black Red. And as you can see, I got a special guest with me. Um, of course, I've recorded this after we've done it, so I had a special guest with me. Um, Emily, she's on her Kara called Save Me, I guess. Uh, what is in there? Some, I don't know, some kinky stuff. <laughs> um, Anyways, for this dungeon, you probably need about 400 plus characters. I would suggest getting a Kara, an intelligence Kara. It's not necessary, but it will help a lot because she, uh, intelligence Kras have explosive arrow, and it's an AF effect intelligence spell. Uh, I think I would do just as fine, but Kras. I think they kind of rule this dungeon because everything's like minus intelligence. A few mobs um, have got resistances, but nothing too much to worry about. So, uh, cross mainly rule this dungeon because of the open maps. Uh, there's a lot of space. You can just stand all the way at the other map, um, do distance shooting or whatever that spell is called. Uh, get yourself some range and shoot across the whole map and you can basically kill him before they even get to you. So. Uh, the Red Dungeon is located at the Brackmarian City Sewers at minus 2631. And uh, the best way to get in there is to go to the Baker Workshop with a Zappy, you know, those kind of thingies that you can transport with. And you go one up and you go into the sewers and you make your way to um, the entrance. One thing to note, um, in the sewers all mobs are aggro, so you know, if you're trying to get there uh, you can't solo those things, ask the, um, the crow or whatever intelligence character you had to come with you to the entrance so you don't die getting there. Uh, the strategy for this one is basically real simple. Kill all the monsters and then kill the black rat last. Um, a few things to note. Black rat will cause black plague on a character. And when a character is black plague, you cannot heal him or he will die. It's not an instant kill, but most of the time it will kill him instantly. Um, that's confusing. Uh, it does 50% of the damage on one spell. Uh, on one element, and then it is 50% on other elements, but the other 50% isn't always uh, a guaranteed hit, I think, something like that. Basically, don't heal the character with Black Plague, or you will see what happens yourself. Uh, we didn't do this, didn't do it um, in this dungeon run, so yeah, no need to worry. Um, Gil Rats. Is another spell he will cast on a player, and it does the same thing. If you're healed, it's an instant kill. This time it's a, a pure instant kill, so don't heal people with kill rat. And if you're hit in close combat, I think, um, by another rat, it's also an instant kill, so that's why you need to nuke down all the other enemies before you engage a black rat. And basically, you want to push back the black rat, you want to MP rape him, you want to keep him as far as possible. Or you are going to die. And there's this. Then there's another spell. <coughs> sorry. Excuse me. Really, excuse me. Sorry. Um, and there's another spell called Coration. Uh, if he casts it on one of the rats, then you can't hit him. Uh, well, they can't. You can't hit the rat. Well, he casts it on a rat, and if it's on the rat, you can't hit that rat. Um, if you do hit the rat with um, strength or neutral damage, it will fully heal the rat. Uh, you can still hit it with agility, chance, if you plan on hitting chance for some weird reason, because everything is almost chance resistance, but whatever. Or if you hit it with intelligence, then uh, it's all fine, it doesn't matter, but if you hit it with strength or neutral, it will heal the rat all the way back up. Uh, most of the time, this won't really be a problem, because the crab will be doing all the damage. Uh, especially in this dungeon we had a challenge that, uh, we had a dual challenge, basically, so, yeah, Emily had to kill everything, I was just standing there doing nothing. Uh, the same rules apply to, like, a real four-man dungeon, you can see we are with five people right now, because Emily came, but it's the same principle, it's just one less, uh, enemy to worry about, so. 
Um, that's kind of it, actually. It's it's a real easy strategy. Don't heal unless you really have to, and if you have to heal, make sure the player doesn't have Black Plague or Kill Red. If he does, leave him to die, because he'll be dead anyways if you heal him. <laughs> um, you can basically get the mats for uh, the Black Red set. It's not really too much money, I think it's like 100 kk. Okay, a hundred thousand up to like two hundred thousand per piece or something. It's not really too much. DSP isn't really too great either. Uh, it's really something that you do if you really are bored or if you want to do um, what's it called? A Magnarian black a magne yeah, a mac uh, I can't even pronounce it, it's like a Magnarian red dungeon or something like that. It's basically with a sphinxter cell in it. Black red and the white reds all together in one dungeon. It's like the Royal Blob dungeon, but for rats, and it's pretty hard. Uh, I haven't attempted it yet, but I'm going to have to for you guys. So uh, that's kind of basically it. I think I'm gonna call it here. Um, call it a day here. I'm gonna stop talking. Let you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, if you liked it. Rate, comment, like, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever you guys do. Um, one thing to note, White Red is gonna probably be uploaded uh, sometime later today, and I'm probably not going to um, put those weird things on the screen anymore. Like, uh, it's located here, It's uh, you can get these mats, uh, that kind of crap. I'm probably not gonna do that anymore. I will put those in the description, however, so I'll just talk about it in the video and I'll just put it in the description for you guys to, sh to see. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Zero, I'm out.